things I was curious about uh, was the fact that Helen Hump, or is it Helene? I don't know. Well, the wonderful author of 84 Charing Cross Road talked about moving from East 95th to East 72nd. And she talked about it as if it was a step up in the world. And based on my knowledge of these blocks, the 95th address would have been a lot better. It's right off the park. I think it's a beautiful block if I remember correctly, but we shall see. And 72nd, while perfectly fine, is kind of nondescript, as you can see. But maybe it gets better down there, further east. Coming up on a dog walker. I can never resist a dog walker. Hello, puppies! Now named after the book. Well, it's a little quieter. It's still not a great, great block. Um, I'm going to go over to the plaque. The plaque about her. Now I wonder if they'll let me inside. We shall see. Okay, they let me in and said I could make a little movie. So this is the lobby. Actually, I think I saw a picture of her sitting in these chairs. They have a nice Christmas tree. Is it okay if I walk down there? Yes. Thank you. Walking down the hallway that Helen or Helene would have walked, presumably. There I am. Okay, it's a very lovely building. Yeah. Now I'm walking back down the hallway. It's a prettier shot maybe because there's a the Christmas tree in it. I'm trying to hold the camera steady, but I can see I'm not doing a very good job. Okay, that was 72nd Street. Now I'm on to 95th Street. And I found out which apartment was hers. But I think I won't include that in the movie, but I'll let certain people know. Because I was Googling that, trying to find out, and I couldn't find out, so I think that is not generally known. Okay, this is the block that Helen left in order to live on 72nd, and as you can see, it's a very pretty block. The only thing I can think of is when I was researching the murder of Reem Constance Hoxie, she lived on a block like this and at the time uh, I think a lot of the buildings were renting out as rooming houses which wouldn't have been so nice. They wouldn't have been well kept up and you just get a room. But now I see the Diller Quail School of Music. I mean, these buildings are beautiful. Coming up on her building. I should probably cross the street. 
Yeah, that's what I'm going to do so you can get a better look. Okay, here it is. All right, I'm going to cross the street. That's it. 14 East 95th. Okay, that's Helen Hump's building. Oh, and I learned from the doorman, it's Helen. So, a very pretty building. But, I don't know, maybe it wasn't so nice. I mean, the building would always have been beautiful, but maybe the inside wasn't so nice. But right down there is the park. Hi. Hi. Pretty church. Yeah, it's nice. Oh my god, this oh, this building is beautiful. Beautiful door. With a Scrooge-like knocker. close to the park. That I do not understand. Okay, now I'm just gonna quick enter the park so you can see what she gave up. <laughs> 